Hello, welcome to the Comox Valley Craft Brewery Virtual Happy Hour Series. We've called this Wish You Were Beer. I am the Rock Dog Andrew Davis hosting the event, uh, uh, and I have my guest today, Helen Austin. We are broadcasting live at Land and Sea Brewing Company in Comox. The way this is going to, well, let me tell you why this has been put together, first of all. It's put together by the Comox Valley Economic Development and Tourism here in the Comox Valley. Now, the Comox Valley craft brewers that include the Land and Sea Brewing Company, along with Gladstone's Brewing Company, Ace Brewing, New Tradition, and Church Street Tap House, and it's all part to do with the BC Ale Trail. We've had a bunch of events that had to be canceled through March and April because of COVID-19. Uh, so this is a way that uh, we can kind of uh, get this thing going and remind you that these are here. All these local businesses are here. They're willing to uh, give you your beer that you need. Uh, there's lots of food out there, gift certificates and well. The way you get on the live stream is you uh, contact uh, one of the craft brewers and you buy something. It can be a gift certificate. It can be some of their fine brew, whatever. You just need to buy something. You'll get a QR code that you snap on your iPhone or your Android or whatever you use and it'll take you into the Facebook group where you will be able to watch the live streams each and every week. Now first we have Helen Austin but coming up uh, tomorrow will be Luke Blue Guthrie and also on the docket includes uh, Easy Street, a great duo from here in the Comox Valley, uh, the Lupricon, not quite sure what that is but it sounds interesting and of course the Valley Zone Sioux Medley. But Let's start things today with the one and only Helen Austin. Thank you. It's lovely to be here in this lovely brewery, Land and Sea. Uh, and I'm going to kick off with a tune uh, which was originally written about uh, something terrible that should never have happened. Oh, wait. I think it's quite apt. This is called Big Mistake. <laughs>
and the crowd went <laughs> crazy. Thank you. We wanted to have beer pouring in the glass as the, the applause, but we didn't, we didn't quite get our acts together. I've got how many people? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the biggest crowd I've had in... Months. Months. Yeah, so I was in the middle of a tour when this all happened. We, I, was, I toured with a band called Big Little Lions. There's two of us. And the other one lives in Ohio, so there's going to be no streaming for us. So, but I'm playing a lot of Big Little Lions tunes. That one was, and this one is as well. This one is written for introverts. But I kind of guess we're all introverts now, aren't we? This is called Old Armchairs. And it's on our latest album called Inside Voice. Big Little Lions. Go check us out.
crowd goes crazy. Yeah. As always. Oh. Is everything okay in, in camera land? All right. Here's another one from our latest album. It's uh, for all the jerks in your life. I don't have any jerks. Do you, Andrew? Uh, no, I can think of. Right off the top of my head. Oh, maybe a couple. We've all got a, we've all got the odd jerk in our in our lives. It's not you, Andrew, and it's not you, John. No. And it's not any of you out there drinking your ale. I hope you're drinking it from flagons. I want I want to imagine you're all drinking from flagons. This is called minimize. Tell you a tale that's too good to be true. Don't want to hear what I already told you. Make it light so you laugh. Put those rose glasses on. Fantastic. Thank you, Andrew. The uh, new record though, right? What's that? The new record is out. Our album came out on in October. It's called Inside Voice and it all deals with uh, mental health and mental illness. Big little lions. Big little lions. I'm the little one. I'm not sure if you, you you've got nothing to compare it to, really. <laughs> the big one is like six foot four and I'm five foot nothing, so we look ridiculous. But if you go find photos of us, you'll see us looking ridiculous and silly. Okay, I'm, I don't do uh, covers very often, but when I do, I like to make them good ones. This is a Sheryl Crow tune. And uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people feeling like this right now. This is called Strong Enough. Yeah. Strong Enough to be my man. My husband has been delighted with my behavior during this. Uh, during the first three weeks, I was just the most delightful person to live with, I'll tell you. Don't ask him. Turn up my guitar a little.
time. I, I don't know why. But if you get bored of it, I can't see you, so I don't know. So just, I don't know, shout at the screen or something. You know, we should, uh, we should actually talk about the sponsors here, because uh, yes. without sponsors, events like this, of course, can't happen. Big thanks as well to the uh, Land and Sea Brewing Company for hosting the very first one of these. We're going to do it again tomorrow at Ace Brewing Company. We also want to thank Richard DeLuca of DeLuca Veal Investment Council and Real Stream Inc. and Properties. I think I know Richard. I think I played hockey with Richard way back in the day, minor you hockey. You know everybody here, don't you? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I know a few. Uh, Robert Mulrooney as well from Mindset Wealth and Hollis Wealth, and I know I do know Robert. So thanks to both Richard and Robert as well for helping us out here, all the great breweries, Land and Sea Brewing Company. company. If you want to take part in this, in this uh, live stream, your friends, you're telling all your friends and family about this, what you have to do is come on down here and buy something. You'll get a code, put it on your phone, put it on your computer, boom, you're in, and you're watching great talent like Helen Austin. Well, that's very kind of you. <laughs> so here's a, an unreleased big little line, Stu, and I don't know why we never released it. Maybe we need to, because it's called Only a Friend Like You, and at times like this, we definitely need our friends. And there's a lot of FaceTiming and Zooming going on, and that's, that's a good thing. Could you imagine doing this without the internet? You know, no, I no. couldn't. Well, we wouldn't be doing this, obviously. How are you doing, John? Are you okay? Yeah. Excellent. This is, this is for all my friends, which I consider you guys. Two of. <laughs>
Yes. I hope you were all singing along. I think everybody was. I think they were. I, I, I like to imagine they were. I think it'd be actually kind of cool if, uh, if people are, you know, you're having your virtual happy hour, you're listening to, to Helen sing, and you're, you're having your beverages with your family and sharing a few bites. Like, maybe you put it on social media and hashtag it. How about hashtag it? Like, uh, hashtag Comox Valley Craft Brewers. That way we can find you. Hashtag is for old people. It's the number sign. The pound key. if you're key. a musician, it's a sharp. A sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I've always called it the, either the tic-tac-toe thing, grid, or the pound key. See, I was a musician, musician first, so it was always a sharp. I'm like, what is this thing they're using? These young folk people. And people can probably, on, as they're watching it on the Facebook Live, they can probably write comments and stuff like that. So if you've I think got any can. requests, I probably don't know them. But, you know, if you've got any requests of my songs. <laughs> Shout them out. <laughs> Shout them out. Okay, we're going to get serious and going to do a breakup song. I'm really sorry if I need to hit this. But, you know, it can't all be jolly in this world, can it? Well, we're trying. This is called Leaving Lullaby. Watching the time, watching it end. Hi, why did I assume you were the one? Now I pretend you're still singing me love songs, singing me love songs.
Awesome. Thank you. No, <laughs> my son, no. What should we do next? That's going to be the song I'm going to close with. That, that, that's the song I'm going to close with. So you have to wait. <laughs> Find your track. I am going to close. <laughs> I Sorry, I forgot. You can't hear John Beth here. I'm going to close with Find Your Tribe. We had a request for it. I love that. Thank you. Well, this is a brand, brand, brand new song. Uh, we released a new song today. This is not it. We released a new song. We've been writing some songs. This is Big Little Lines. We've been writing some songs to do with what's going on right now. Our uh, publisher asked us to write songs that were hopeful and gave people you know, uh, optimism and stuff like that. So we've written a few. We've put one out today called Need One Another, and this is another one that we're going to put out in a few weeks, probably. This is called Rise Up. This house, it keeps me warm, gives me protection. These walls, Fantastic. Thank you. Oh, it's always a little out of body experience when you do a new song. It's all done now. Which is good. I hope you liked it. Tell me if you liked it. 
Thank you. And you, you tell me if you liked it. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do an animated video, I think, of a doll's house, because I've got a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> like, my, all my tours are gone. Feel sorry for me. I don't know when I'm going to see Paul again. Ohio. What was I thinking being in a band with a guy that lives 2,000 miles away? But he's a nice guy. He's a lovely guy. And he's a great songwriter. He's a great songwriter. I like his wife, though. That's the, that's yes. the icing on the cake is his wife. She really is. I mean, it's Jenny all the way, really. <laughs> I wish they could watch this. <laughs> all right, something completely different. I wrote this for my kids many, many years ago when they were little. Uh, and it's called Never Mind to Own, because we don't own our kids, we just kind of borrow them for a little while. Uh, I've still got the receipt, so I think I can return them, I'm not sure. Uh, I definitely don't own one of them anymore, because she is uh, married and belongs to someone else. Or can I say that? I don't know if that's... <laughs> no, probably not. They belong to each other. <laughs> And I'm nearly about to lose. I've got a grade 12. I just want to shout out to all the people who have grade 12 kids right now, the ones that are losing all the grad stuff. I feel, we feel your pain. Yeah. We're going through that. But I keep telling my son that at the end of all this, in like 10 years' time, they'll go, oh, you were a grad 20. You'll, you'll get a lot of attention for it. So this is called Never Mind to Own. You were never mine to own when you came into this world Some kind of extended loan, but you'll always be my girl You're always in my heart, always in my soul Always with me, but never mine to own You were such a crazy child, my little pride and joy Get to keep you for a while And you'll always be my boy You're always in my heart Always in my soul Always with me But never mind to own I'll be with you from the day you were born Oh, I'll be by your side When it's time to let you go I know you'll be just fine I'll teach you teach you grace, I'll teach you how to get along. Then I'll give you a little space, and I know you can't go wrong. You're always in my heart, always in my soul. Always with me, but never mind to own. I'll be with you from the day you were born, or oh, I'll be by your side. When it's time to let you go, I know you'll be just fine. You make me happy, you make me proud, you make me want to smile. However you go out in this world, it'll be in your own style. You're always in my heart, always in my soul. Fantastic. Thank you. You got great kids. I have got great kids. Yes, you do. They I grew up to be great, great, fabulous humans just like you and your husband. Aww. Oh, you're going to make you're gonna make me tear up <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Wish you were beer. This is Comox Valley Craft Brewery's virtual happy hour series. If you're out there, you're watching, or you're hearing about it, you're seeing people tweet about it or Facebook about it, come on down. Land and Sea Brewing Company. We're practicing social distancing down here as well. As you can see, Helen and I are six feet apart. John's way back over there, so we're six feet apart. And then we have uh, the brewmaster back there, way farther than six feet apart. Two people in a store at a time. Jason! Hey, Jason. Come on in. Buy something, whether it's a gift certificate, you can fill your growler or whatever you need. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's time to party, it's right? It is Friday. It's Friday. All the wow. days are blurring together, they but really uh, they are. are. It's Monday, Saturday. Monday, Saturday, do it about. We've got, but we've got a, a holiday coming up, so we've got we've got Victoria Day. Victoria so thank day. goodness for that. Eh? Yes, geez. Goodness, we have a day we, off. We need the break. <laughs> We're not going crazy. We're fine. 
So here's another big little lines tune, and we write a lot for TV and film, and this one was in the end montage of Elementary. The uh, people were saying things. That was it. Where our song was going underneath. This is called Stories. Stories we have, we tell ourselves, stories that end with time. Histories change like books on a shelf, pages that need a rewrite. Here is a beautiful me melody. It just sounds so pretty. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> and no, we, we, we're actually deeper than puddles, Paul and I. Yes. I know. That, that song just proves it. <laughs> 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 All righty. How many more before I, I, I need to curate? Because oh. I know we're taking a, a, qu a, a brief break from you. We're going to do an interview. <gasps> That's exciting. Well, I'm going to take a brief break. So I'd like to know how many more tunes you'd like from me before the break. A couple? Couple. Okay, let's do those two. All right. Bye. So this song was written for my daughter, who uh, she lived here, obviously, with us. And then she moved to Vancouver, and then she moved to Edmonton. And then, yeah, obviously Edmonton made her move back here because <laughs> she, she couldn't handle the, uh, the cold and the snow and the lack of mountains. And this is, was written at a time when she was just desperate to get back to the island, as we all are, really. Um, and uh, she wasn't quite there. It's called Tell Me When We Get There. And it kind of applies to what's going on now. It's like, are we there yet? 
Are we there yet? And at the end, you can join in with, are we there yet? I wanted to be home before I even left. Knew I had to go and get my feet wet. And so I packed my bags. Make it on my own, get lost in the city. Getting caught up in my own self pity. Oh, was it so bad? together at last oh, 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 too short. We all need security, we all need support. Are we there yet? No, I don't think we are. We aren't. <laughs> but you know where we are. We're no. at Land and Sea Brewing Company, we actually. Are. <laughs> it's delightful in here. I really like it. I like the name, Wish You Were Beer. Yeah. That's that's a funny hashtag. I like it. Tell us about the new uh, the new single. How did that all come about? The new single, uh, or the Need One Another one? Yeah, the one you just released. The one that isn't, isn't, isn't yet on Spotify and on yes. Apple TV. Yes, <laughs> but I saw it on your Facebook. <laughs> because apparently they're being a little slower, like everybody ah. else. So, uh, But it's on Bandcamp today. Do uh, They don't take a cut on a fr this Friday. I don't know if it's every Friday. Yeah. They don't take a cut on this Friday. Uh, but the song, as I say, our publisher asked us to write some. Uh, all the ad agencies are right now trying to kind of pull stuff yeah. together to rebrand and, and make it more suitable. So he asked us to write some songs uh, suitable. So we wrote about four or five of them, and, uh, and this is the one we chose to put out first. And we asked a whole bunch of people to send us videos of them dancing with animals or just singing along. So we put that together, and the video's out there. Excellent. 
you and Paul, how do you write when back and forth when you're, uh, I guess, the internet, eh? You write stuff down and send it to them and... Well, yeah, I mean, this is, we, what we do now is what, how we started, because we started writing together not really knowing each other, and we never intended to be a band, so we were just going to write for music, music, just going to write for music for TV <laughs> film, but that was our goal, and so we're ba basically, we're back to doing that, uh, and, the, the, and the touring band thing was just like a happy accident. Yeah. What do you got for us now? What are you going to play? I'm going to finish with a, I think, with a cover. Kathleen Edwards cover called Back to, Back to Me. Because I like to think I'm a I've got a little bit of an edge. <laughs> I know my accent is very Mary Poppins, <laughs> which is what Paul calls me. <laughs> and uh, so I try to be a little edgy. So this is, uh, this is Back to Me. I got ways to make you sorry. Start my life with someone else I got a ways to make you fall Tell you all the things that I lied about I got a ways to make you mad Just like another girl sitting on your lap I got a ways to make you sing my songs And the ones I ain't written yet I got lights you never see I got moves I never use I got I hereby declare you now have edge. I have edge. You oh, have edge. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Because I am just the all-knowing on edge, I guess. Well, you're the rock dog. Well, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. You're coming back, of course. You're going to do more songs. I'm going to come back, yes. Yes. I'm going to talk to you guys right now, though, because uh, Wish You Were Beer, Comox Valley Craft Brewery Virtual Happy Hour Series. This is day one. Land and Sea Brewing Company is where we are today. Be here until 7. Helen's going to come back in a little bit and play some more songs. And uh, this is because of, uh, because of the coronavirus and COVID-19 that is basically shut down. So uh, a lot of our local businesses are, are struggling. A lot of our local businesses have had to adjust the way that they, they do things, especially with physical distancing and all the cleaning measures that have to have. So in addition to the craft brewery, start supporting uh, lots of local businesses out there. Go to your farmer's markets. Uh, Order, you know, shoes online from local guys and things like that, right? And, of course, uh, also stop by any of the uh, craft breweries here in uh, the Comox Valley. We have the Land and Sea Brewing Company, which is on Guthrie Road in uh, Comox. Gladstone's Brewing Company, downtown Courtney. They're on 4th and Cliff. 
Aces Brewing Company, which is over on Mansfield, uh, the old Toyota building over by uh, Whistle Stop. New Tradition Brewing and the tra- sorry the Church Street Tap House, which of course is on Church Street in Comox. It's all part of the Beastie Ale Trail, the Comox Valley Economic Development Tourist Society here. I decided since the BC Ale Trail and COVID-19, all these events were ended up being cancelled through March and April, and we've put together this virtual happy hour. You go out, you buy uh, your, your beers, you buy your beverages, you go out, you buy your food from your local places like that, and uh, you watch. You get online, you're going to get yourself a code that you'll be able to go online uh and it'll take you right to the live stream. And uh, we have Helen here today. Uh, Luke Blue, Blue Guthrie will be tomorrow, as we'll be at Ace Brewing Company. Next weekend, there'll be a performance uh, from Elise LeBlanc. Uh, and Easy Street on Saturday. If you've never seen Easy Street, fantastic duo. Love those guys. Uh, the LooperCon and then Sue Medley on May 16th. So these are just part of the Comox Valley Craft Brewery Virtual Happy Hour Series. So you can stop into any of those craft breweries right now, if you're on the way, whatever, and uh, just tell your friends, stop in, buy something, you're going to get a code, and they're going to be able to watch these great virtual series as well. Support local. Thanks again to Richard DeLuca of DeLuca Veal Investment Council and Real Stream Income Properties and Robert Mulrooney, Mindset Wealth and Hollis Wealth, a couple of the sponsors. And of course, thanks to Land and Sea Brewing Company for having us here this evening. Uh, Helen, will be back with more music. <laughs> I know everybody's dodging everybody. I've noticed too when I'm walking, I go out for walks and people, yeah, you see somebody coming and then we both of us take a wide berth around each other and give a wave. So, how, yes. How's life with you? Uh, life's been good. I uh, just. Uh, you know, living the dream here, riding out COVID-19 like everybody else. You know, if you're going to be anywhere, Much this is the place, definitely the place to be. The Comox Valley is the most beautiful place in the world. It's where I was born, it's where I was raised, and it's more than likely where I will perish as well. You know, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Not to bring everybody down. It is definitely a place you come back to. I am very, very pleased that I had a child that came back. Yes. My other one probably won't. <laughs> there, there aren't too many, uh, there aren't too many uh, space stations near the island. No. Yep. Should I keep playing? You might as well. I've got to tell you that the hand towels in the bathroom at Land and Sea are the softest hand towels. <laughs> I just had to tell you that because it, 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 it struck me. I was like, wow, those are really soft. One. All right, this is a tune called Going Nowhere, because guess what? We're going nowhere. We are going nowhere.
part, if I could play harmonica, I'd be playing harmonica on this bit, but I can't. But I should learn, now that I don't have Paul to play it, I think it might be a new thing. Oh, I could wait, I, you know, I was whistling the other day, and my husband was like, yeah, no, I'll try. Nah, yeah, it's all right, you know, there are better whistles. <laughs> You should sit and watch the world go by You should sit and watch the world go by You should sit and watch the world go by You should sit and watch the time fly I'm going nowhere Yeah, yeah, I'm going Did you get the fade out? Perfect fade out. I like that. Thank you. All righty. So this song was written after I read a trilogy of books. John, keep an eye on the feed because I want people to guess the trilogy of books. This is another big little lines tune. It's called Hiding Place. Don't think too highbrow either.
Thank you. So, what were the books? Has anybody guessed? I uh, put them out there and we got absolutely far. Zero responses. I've had, I, we've had uh, responses before of uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, and I'm like, not that lowbrow. Twilight. No, that was more than a trilogy. <laughs> Kafka. Yes, it was Kafka. That, I read Kafka <laughs> all the time because that's who I am. No, it's The Hunger Games, sadly. So that, it was that sort of lowbrow. Apologies for my lack of intellect. Oh, I'm getting angry now. Yeah. This is surprisingly, you know, everyone knows who Bruce, uh, Bruce and Judy Wing are. Yep. The wonderful musicians of the Comox Valley who do all sorts of good things. I just love them. They're some of my closest friends. Bruce, who was like the coolest, nicest guy ever. This is one of his favorite songs of mine, and it's an angry song. And it's always a bit shocking, like Bruce. But you seem so laid back. This is called Don't Come Around Here. You came into my world. Now I have to hide from you. You stepped across the line. Something you never should do I've seen it all before But I can't stop it again No, no What you said and what I saw Will I ever see the end? Do. 
I think that Bruce likes that song because then that gets out of all his aggression. Maybe that's it. I think it does. I didn't know you had any, but clearly there's, there's, there's <laughs> that's something why, there. He gets it all out with your song. He likes that last chord especially. It's like an angry. It's a sharp five. It is a sharp five. Uh, John and I are going to start geeking out on, on, on music, music theory. <laughs> sharp five, fat, se flat, fat seven? I want to see a fat seven. I wonder what that sounds like. Oh, here's a song you can all join in on at home. Everyone at home go, yay! <laughs> I'm waiting for some. <laughs> this is a song called Kind. This was written, this was on our last album, um, which had a little bit of a political slant to it because it was written after the 2016, you know that little election they had? I don't know if you remember. It was in the news a little bit. Some orange guy I heard. I, I heard. I, I don't think, I've, I haven't heard much from since, yeah, so it must be okay I down there. Fine. It must be fine. Um, so this song's called Kind, because after all that, I just kept thinking, we need more kindness in the world. We need more of that. So, And the chorus is, I just want to be kind. Can't we all be kind? So if you can do that at home, that'd be lovely. And if you can video yourself doing it and post it, that would be even better. Challenge. I know challenge accepted. What happens when you give a challenge? Given? Challenge given. <laughs> it doesn't sound quite dr so dramatic, does it? I'm sure there's a word, but there's none... There's a smart word somewhere that none of us but know. But none of us know any smart words, so... This is kind. I still can't even understand this
home. Go. Well done. This is the Comox Valley Craft Brewery Virtual Happy Hour Series. This is night one with Helen Austin. We are at the Landon Sea Brewing Company. Uh, there are other uh, craft breweries around town that will be taking part as well. Uh, you can actually stop by, purchase something, and you'll get yourself a code that will allow you to watch uh, the this live stream of all our great local musicians from your house. Uh, Landon Sea Brewing Company, as I said, Gladstone's Brewing Company, Ace Brewing, New Tradition, and Church Street Tap House. It's all thanks to the Comox Valley Economic Development and Tourism Society. And if you want to support musicians, you should go to all their websites. I have stickers here. Go buy all their merch. Big Little Lions. We have vinyl now. Nice. I know, right? got into the 70s. You went back in time. <laughs> we did. People kept asking. And we found a company that will do individual ones at a time, so you don't have to cart them all around the country. Not that we have to cart anything yeah. around the country. So we have vinyl. So there you go. What challenge was accepted? Trevor. Is Trevor watching? <laughs> not my, It's not my Trevor. He's not... Yeah, that's not my trauma. I was like, wow, is my husband actually gone onto Facebook? Hates Facebook. <laughs> that was, yeah, I was like, wow. Thank you, Trevor Reynolds, for singing along. I appreciate that. I'm going to do another cover. I'm going to do Creep because I just love the song. It's just such an amazing song. was special, so very special, I'm a creep, I'm a widow, the hell am I doing here, I don't belong.
fantastic. Thank you. I, should, I would want to go jolly after song. I should stay in the moment. And oh, that's good. I wasn't sure whether it would be too miserable a song to do. I just love it. Oh, me too. Me too. Okay, I'm going to go from that to something ridiculous. Because this is the song, sadly, I am most known for. Do you know which song this is? You know which song this is. Really? You got kids, I assume. Yeah. Okay. So I wrote a couple of kids' albums. One of which one did you know? Woo! Uh, and the first one, I for the song called "Always Be a Unicorn," and people still stop me in the street. You're the unicorn lady. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm. What's that? It is blessed and cursed. Could be worse things you'd be known for. There is that. Yes, okay, I'm very grateful to be known as the unicorn lady. So for any kids that are there with their parents, this is for you and the parents. You can be a Spider-Man, you can be a princess, you can be who you want to be. But underneath the mask and underneath the costume, that's who you really see. You can hide in a box, you can take center stage, you can go where you want to go. But the person that you always take along the way is the real you that you want to show. Always be yourself, but if you can be a unicorn, always be a unicorn. Always be yourself, but if you can be a unicorn, always be a unicorn. You can fly to the moon, you can fall down a hole, you can try to be someone else. You are the only version of you, so you might as well be yourself. You will go very far, you will stay for a while, you will sometimes want to run away. But wherever you go, you will tag along and you know where you want to stay. Always be yourself, but if you can be a unicorn, always be a unicorn. Always be yourself, but if you can be a unicorn, always be a unicorn. Whistle along with me. <laughs> from your Juno award-winning album. It was for uh, Best Children's Album, correct? Yeah, that one, that one got nominated. So I know, I know what it's like to not win. Yep. And I know what it's like to win. And winning's way better. <laughs> I just have to say. <laughs> it's not... It, I mean, it's okay. You're sitting having a dinner and you're like, oh, well, I guess... The first time I was there, our whole table, nobody won. It's like, but I was the last one, so they were falling like dominoes. And I was like, the last, it's like, oh yeah, I'm totally not winning this. And we were at a table way at the back. So we're like, yeah. But it was still fun. Still fun to be nominated and to go and do things like that. That'd be cool. It was very cool. Okay, I'm getting feisty on you. This is from our, this is from our last Big Little Lines album. The album's called... Um, Alive and Well, and this is uh, Against the Wall, and we had the pleasure of having this played on Q CBC Q, which was so exciting. I jumped up and down, I was screaming around the house, and I told Paul, Paul lives in Ohio, and Paul went, what's the Q? <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. This was, no, he didn't. He didn't come. It was, no, it was, it was, it was Tom. <laughs> They've played our songs a few times now, which has been really cool, but nobody's ever called me. We haven't, I haven't had the Tom call. Tom, Tom, if you're drinking beer in the Comox Valley right now. <laughs> How are you all doing in the Comox Valley right now? Can, you can't see, it's not like Zoom where you can see them, can you? Yeah, if you can just kind of wave your arms in the air and then post photos of yourself, 
Challenge delivered. Delivered isn't the right word either, is it? It's not it either. No. Somebody's going to have to fill us in what it is. Somebody can come up with a dramatic way of setting a cha challenge set. No, nah, forget it. Gauntlet's thrown. That's a good one. You can throw a gauntlet. Okay. This is against the wall. I think it's pretty obvious what it's about. Comox Valley Craft Brewery Virtual Happy Hour Series. Wish you were beer, and it's uh, Helen Austin. A lot of people don't know that you were a stand-up comedian. Too. I know, because it's not very obvious for any anymore, because I'm not that <laughs> funny. <laughs> well, you must have been funny at one point in time. I was, but, the, I, but then I had therapy. Seriously, uh, I had therapy, and I'm fine. <laughs> you get it all out through your songwriting now. I do. I don't even know, actually. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty good. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean... This, one of the problems is both of us are, Paul and I are both very happily married, and so we don't, we don't have that angst in us. Yeah. So we do a lot of things like write stuff about movies, books, um, yeah, something that kind of grabs us. You probably have to talk to more teenagers if you're looking for some angst. Well, you know, actually we both do have teenagers, <laughs> so yes, that has been actually quite a good source. I mean, if you've got kids, you've got to use them for something. Yep. 
We're at the Land and Sea Brewing Company. Uh, you can stop by or any of one of the Comox Valley craft brewers, including Gladstone's, Ace Brewing, New Tradition, and Church Street Tap House. Buy something, you get yourself a link, and you'll be part of the virtual uh, happy hour. And this is night number one. We'll be back at it tomorrow at Ace Brewing Company featuring Luke Blue Guthrie, a guy you know as well, right? I did. We both... Uh how, however many years ago, 17, I think, years ago, we both won the North Island Talent Hunt, and we both, uh, he was in the, in the youth section, because he was like 17 or 18 at the time, yeah. and I'd just been in the Valley for like six months, and so we both got to play at Music Fest uh, on the main stage. That's awesome. Part, yeah, so I've known Luke a long time. Long time. And uh, I was horrified to find out I was, I'm old enough to be his mother, so there you go. <laughs> By the way, the stuff going down my feet, I know you can see a bit of it, and normally when I play with Paul, he plays the drums and he plays all the stuff, and I have foot percussion, but I always play on the offbeat. Pretty much always play on the offbeat. But he's not here, so I'm now, okay, on beat, on beat, on beat. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a test for my brain, which is why now I'm gonna play a song that has no percussion whatsoever. And this is a cover as well. This is a Pete Seeger song. I was lucky enough to uh, play in a few Pete Seeger uh, 100th birthday uh, celebrations last year. And this is one of the songs I uh, performed. It's called Old Brown Earth. It was really cool digging into his stuff. And a lot of the stuff, he, he co did a lot of covers as well, but kind of made them his own, and yeah. it was just really cool to dig into that stuff. Oh, we have a, a dog is heckling us. The dog is heckling us. <laughs> there's another dog in the house. <laughs> hey, there's two of us now. Comox Valley Craft Brewery Virtual Happy Hour Series. Hey, I'm glad you all joined in. Is everybody 
you're all having a good time. Everybody liking it. Everybody's, uh, of course, partaking. Hope you went out. You got some uh, munchies as well from some great local businesses through town. Check out all the restaurants. Uh, I know some of them are open. They're doing takeout. They're doing delivery. It's pretty much what we're doing here as well at Land and Sea Brewing Company. Uh, tomorrow at Ace Brewing Company, stop in, buy something. You'll get yourself a code, and you'll be here tomorrow joining us with the Luke Beluga 3. And I am, I'm so grateful to the people doing takeout because I've never cooked so many meals in my life. Oh, I'm uh, running out of ideas. It's There's like only so many ways you can cook chicken. It's that question, <laughs> what do you want for dinner? I don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, and I'm particularly grateful to the ice cream companies who are uh, delivering. I, I'm not saying I'm living on ice cream, but I'm not saying I'm not living on ice cream. And we've got John here. We've got to give a shout out to John, who's, John who's, uh, who's controlling everything. He controls everything we do. And tell us if people are say, telling us anything. If any. uh, there's actually uh, uh, Terry Field next to the music. The Winter Club is joining us tonight for a group. Nice. And, uh, I've never looked at the panel in this box. Yeah, I'm just curious how I might stand there. <laughs> there we go. The paneling. I like these great. I'm, 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 I'm obviously really well versed in brewery. Are these great big things back here? Are they vats? I think they're vats. Are they vats? Fermenters. 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 They look really cool, and that's all that matters. They, so there you go. So here's a tune for those of you with little kids at home. I feel for you. It must be, it, it must be uh, an interesting time to try homeschooling them. And well, I yeah. know my daughter. She's uh, she's going through a hard time right now. Yeah. <laughs> with having the kids at home, one seven, one three. Oh my goodness, yes. I was very grateful that I did have a grade 12 for that reason. He's kind of, kind of hands-free these days, mostly. But this was written for him. This is, goes out to Charlie, Ch my grade 12 Charlie, who this was written when he was six. And anyone that knows Charlie, and a lot of people in the valley do know, because he's not quiet. Uh, this is a song written for him called High Maintenance. Ironically, the song is about him not being high maintenance. Because he is a ball of energy, that one. Anyway, this is for him. I know that you're just a little ball of energy, but just keep on smiling. Soon everyone will see that you're not high maintenance to me. Just because you run around a circle doesn't bother me, and I like you here, and you make me feel so glad to see that you're not Not high maintenance. I'm not high maintenance either. No, I'm not. I do need a haircut though, but I think a lot of people need I a haircut. I cut my own. I see that. I cut it my own. It looks great though. And I, 
Well, this, I, this is the second cutting, so it's a little bit rootsy, and so I need to get the, the dye on it again. But yeah. I the thing with my hair, and I used to have really long hair, but now I found that the longer it gets, the more that I notice that uh, there's not as much up there anymore. So I like to just keep it short. Just do what now. my husband does. I mean, he's, he, since the age of 23, he, he, he was receding, and he just like get the comb gone. over the homer. No, just got rid of it all. Oh. Just, just. <laughs> One day I'm not that brave yet. Yeah, I cut Charlie's hair. I cut my hair. I still I really miss my hairdresser. <laughs> <'cause laughs> this is so much better. Okay, that one was for my son. This song is another one for my daughter. Well, I say I didn't use my ch children as inspiration. And this is when she first left the valley and got uh, very homesick. It was in Vancouver, the big city, and people don't say hello to each other there like they do here because they think you're crazy in a big city. I, I came here from London, and people would say hello, and I'm like, why are you saying hello to me? You don't know me. And now it's like, why aren't you saying hello to me? Kindness. It is. It's, it, I, this, this valley has made me a better person. I can say that without a shadow. I absolutely mean it. I don't say things when I don't mean I'm not very sentimental. So unless I really mean it, I can't, I can't say it, as my kids will attest to mind. <laughs> but this is called Say Hello. So many lights through thousands of windows Staying inside cause nobody knows to Just say hello, just say hello It's been a while since I've spoken
Come on, Valley Craft Brewery Virtual Happy Hour Series. We have begun this here today at Land and Sea Brewing Company. You can be a part of the next one. Tell your friends. Just bake up something from a craft brewery, and uh, you'll get yourself a code, and you'll be uh, able to take part in these virtual happy hours because we want to come to you because, of course, you can't come out and see us, and we can't gather like we used to, but uh, we're going to gather this way virtually. Yeah, I mean, we, we we have to get creative, as everyone has had to get creative. It's been pretty interesting watching some of the late-night shows where they're recording from home and yeah. newscasts that are happening, like the anchors are at home, and it's an entirely different world. But the, I kind of think it's, uh, in a way, it's kind of cool because we're really living through a, a historical event. That oh, this we are living history <laughs> right now, absolutely. This is going to be taught hundreds and hundreds of years from now, and the fact that we're living through it, I think, is pretty cool. It is, it's, yeah, that, that, yeah, that's a good way to look at it, I like that. Um, I wanted to do this song because we, this is, we can't, Paul and I can't perform, we can't do a live stream show because technology and apparently distance doesn't work like that. So we just can't do it, it's been quite sad. So we've been putting out songs where we, he'll play first and I'll, I'll record along to it. So it's kind of like we're doing it. So this is a song we put out from, it's from the new album. And, uh, yeah, so it's called Lonely Blue, and uh, it's one of our favorite songs from the album. Paul wrote this about his dad, who uh, suffered from dementia. Lonely Blue, did you think this would be? finally lost your touch slipped away time has made a great escape you used to know what laughter was just another memory lost lonely blue a shame
Helen Austin, part of the uh, virtual happy hour series, the Comox Valley Craft Brewery. Uh, what do you got coming up? I, I guess you're not going to have a lot coming up. Well, I'll tell you what we were going to have. What were you going to we do? We were going to be in BC for the summer. We had music festivals. We had wineries. Paul's wife was going to come out. We were going to have the best time. Next year. Next year. Next Actually, year. we have already booked, rebooked a festival for next year. So hopefully it's all going to happen next year. We have tours in September, October, November. No idea if they're going to happen. Probably not. We'll just have to wait and see. It's a wait and see sort of thing. So I'm doing a d day at a time. I know that everyone's going, you know, some days you're like, yeah, this is okay. I can do this. Yeah. Another days I'm crawling Another days, yeah, you're hiding under the bed. Yeah, <laughs> this, it's, uh, I think we're all going through sim uh, similar stuff. <laughs> John's making signals, but yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's a, a learning curve. We're all going through a very slow trauma. But we'll get it through. We'll get through. We will get through. And that's the thing. And we'll come out the other end, hopefully better for it. I mean, there's got to be something good, right? Yep. There has to be. I'm going to do one more song. I've been given the one. And I'm going to do Find Your Tribe because it was requested and... It kind of sums up how I feel about the Comox Valley. Because I think in, the, in the, these weird times, and even the weird times before that, because we've got, let's face it, we're living in some weird history right now. And um, yeah, it's really important, I think, to find the people that you can really relax with, really be yourself with, not have to put on airs and graces with. And so this is called Find Your Tribe. And this one, for me, goes out to the whole of the Comox Valley, because... Nowhere has ever, ever, anywhere ever felt as much like home as the Comox Valley does. And thank you for having me here, brewery people, land and sea. It's been delightful. It's been a gig. <laughs> yes. Because you know what, performers, we need to show off. And uh, so thank you for letting me show off. <laughs> Turn on the lights, open your eyes, put all your bags down, turn round, we are home, oh, 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 good to be home. It's not a house, not even a town, it's where your heart lies each night, you are home, oh, 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 good to be home. So find your people, find your tribe.
just had a two-hour live concert basically streamed right into your living room with <laughs> Helen Austin. What a fantastic way to spend a Friday. Fantastic it, way to spend a Friday. It was a fantastic way to spend a Friday. I feel like I've earned my drink when I get home. Now. I think so. <laughs> you earned your, your edge, too. You've got that edge. Grr. You got it. Yeah. You can uh, be part of the next one. Simply go to one of the uh, great craft breweries in the Comox Valley, like Land and Sea Brewing Company, as well as Gladstone's Ace Brewing, New Tradition, and Church Street Tap House. This is uh, put on by the Comox Valley Economic Development and Tourism. It's uh, part of the BC Ale Trail since of COVID-19. A lot of events have been uh, canceled. This is a way to uh, uh, get... Uh, Local businesses, uh, some of the uh, recognition and uh, some of the kudos that they deserve, right? Yeah, absolutely. So make sure you go in there, you buy something, and you can join us actually tomorrow. The next one, Ace Brewing Company, Luke Blue Guthrie, he's, tomorrow he's, at five. Gonna t- well, yeah, tune in for him. Oh, he's, he's going to rock. He's so cool. He's, very, he's got very edge. Good. You see what he's got? I'm like, ah. Oh, well, I'm he's going to say you have edge, though. Yeah, I'm not like Luke. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's got that girl in this too. Some of the other ones we got coming up too, uh, Easy Street. Oh, I love them. Dave and uh, Annie. Yeah, they've got a new video out. Uh, yeah. uh, they've written some a song about our situation. We call it The Situation. The Situation. <laughs> and uh, Sue Medley as well. Nice. What's the looper con? I saw him on uh, Facebook. I'm not quite sure. I haven't checked out. It's a loop artist. Oh, that it's, sounds interesting. It's going to be fun. So make sure you go. Buy something, get your pass, and that's why uh, that's how we'll do this. Yeah. And uh, Luke will be tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Tell me when we're off. Bye.